welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about what I eat in a day for my luteal phase. If you didn't know, I eat based on my menstrual cycle and the different phases of my cycle. I will link a little video up here talking a little bit more about that, but I'm currently in the luteal phase of my menstrual cycle and so there's just some specific things that I try to incorporate into my diet during this time and I thought I would show you all about them today. We're headed out to Toronto Island today to just enjoy Shelby's time off. We're probably gonna go to the beach. We're gonna pack a picnic. So I'm quickly gonna show you my breakfast and then we will get going. We've got a fried egg, some roasted broccoli, sweet potato, and I think cauliflower in there and then there's just a bed of spinach got my shoes on got my belly full of food we're ready to go are you ready to go let's go day out like I said and we are gonna just do some walking there's this entire kind of long boardwalk situation that goes all around the side of the island so we're gonna make some miles on our feet get a little bit of exercise in and then we're gonna stop for a picnic it's already about two o'clock and it's hard because when it's super hot out I find that I can't really feel my hunger but I know that I will be hungry in the next little bit and so we'll stop and have a picnic and I will explain a little bit more just about the phases and the cycles and why I eat differently and what that really looks like. stopped for a little picnic <clears throat> and we have got not necessarily the perfect luteal composition but it's just kind of like a snacky picnicky lunch so we'll show you we've got some grapes oh I see what you did you layered them it's like grapes and watermelon cute some homemade hummus which I made yesterday so this specifically is like the luteal snack because it's semi high in protein and carbohydrates and the biggest thing that you want to be focusing on is, first of all, leafy greens that are high in vitamin B and anything that is high in fiber, specifically vegetables um, and carbohydrate type vegetables, which is going to keep your blood sugar levels and your energy levels even, as well as the vegetables and the fiber help to detox your liver from any buildup of estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone because during your luteal phase, those three hormones kind of peak. They reach their peak concentration and then they begin to fall off. Um, right before your menstrual cycle starts, menstrual cycle, or before your period starts, whatever. It sounds like I was uncomfortable talking about it. It's not, I just didn't have the words. <clears throat> so then they all kind of fall off right before your period starts. So the main thing you want to focus on is eating a lot of those high fiber foods, but the way that you prepare them is kind of a big deal um, because this is kind of considered a warm phase. You want to eat foods that aren't going to cool you down too much. So it's really important to roast or saute in this case i boiled the chickpeas a little bit extra to make them super soft this specifically helps the hummus be like really creamy but it also helps just to be really easily digestible and keeps everything moving which is a big deal because you want your liver to not get extra buildup of those hormones but then you also want your digestive system to easily be able to usher everything out and then to eat the hummus with we've got some of these chips 
This is a Canadian brand that I love. They're lentil chips and the ingredients are really good. Vegetable oil, not great, but the rest of them are pretty great. They're kind of like almost pork rindy, really like light crisps. And then we've got some granola bars. So like I said, I'm gonna finish chewing. So like I said, not necessarily perfect. The vegetables that were in my bowl this morning that you would have seen were kind of like that roasted situation. Um, and I've got, I had a lot of cruciferous vegetables in there like the broccoli. Um, the sweet potato was to help with my blood sugar levels and then this is just kind of to hold us over when you're in your luteal phase to have a higher metabolism tolerance for carbohydrates. So this is the time that I tend to load up on things like sweet potato, chickpeas, lentils, all of that um, to help me feel real good. So we're gonna eat this and we'll see you in the next clip. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better We've got the goods Secured the bag, if you will And we are headed home Into your bars Beauty queens without no gloves You can do better It does taste like really real strawberry, yes. Really? Mm -hmm. That's so Here, try. Okay, we are home. We've got the goods. We both got the same salad. It's a, what's it called? Buffalo cauliflower cob salad. I got mine without corn just because I don't love corn. It's such a good salad. We went to um, Planta Burger, so if you are ever in Toronto, it's definitely a place that you want to try out. All of their stuff is plant-based, which I'm not, but I do enjoy getting more plants in my diet. So we also are going to split the Southwest Burger, I believe it is, yep. and we got a side of truffle fries. So I'm so excited. We had the best day. I'm exhausted from the heat and I'm ready to eat this. This is an example of a dinner that I would go for um, in my luteal phase because it is full of vegetables. The cauliflower is roasted and there's just a lot of micronutrients that are gonna help flush out the liver like I said before. Also got guacamole, so we've got some healthy fats in there and then we've just got some enjoyment which I think is also really important and I can't stress enough and that's something that I'll always talk about on my channel in, in real life is part of healthy living, part of, part, no, no. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Part of healthy living and eating is taking care of the health of your soul and a good portion of consuming food, especially in Western culture, is about enjoyment and about nourishing your soul, about connecting with others over food and it's really important, especially to me and in my life, to consume foods that aren't necessarily the best for you but make you feel good and help you just enjoy life. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you took something from this. Um, let me know in the comments if you would love to see more what I eat in a days in the different phases of my menstrual cycle. It's kind of something that I'm thinking about doing, but potentially with like actually cooking and showing you recipes is just kind of our day day and what we've got going on in our real life. But I'm gonna eat this now before it gets cold. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.